Yes. So it seems like location for you just basically melds a whole bunch of the attributes that would come out of a spreadsheet. What makes you think that if someone goes to the same locations as you, it, it, it will be that much more accurate than, say, the spreadsheet of attributes mm -hmm. you have? Do you see what I'm getting at? Because it's passively learning about you. So imagine there's a Canucks game going on right now, and you're at Rogers Arena. You, you probably have similar interests in both like all this stuff is implicit. So you, you learn this stuff without actually feel, making you fill in this bridge. And somebody that you know loves hockey it is probably going to, you know, want to date somebody else that loves hockey. Or if you're at an art show, right, then you probably love art and this other person probably loves art. If you spend your nights, I don't know, at four get chapters to pin a books, you're a reader, right? Then you probably want to meet somebody else who also reads. So all this stuff that is in the spreadsheet, it's all implicit, like, and uh, it creates this level of serendipity, and, and, and that's what dating should be about. It should be about serendipity and, and learning this stuff and connecting people based on serendipity rather than spreadsheet. Question right at the back. Yeah, that's, that's like two things I just want to. Um, <coughs> Speak up, please. Uh, two, two things that I want to maybe push, uh, maybe ask you. One is like uh, the age old question how we are going to get all the uh, so called mobile users into your network. I mean, for example, you may get 5% of the, all the mobile users that are going to your place. So, how do you get all the other network that's using uh, that mobile service? Right? So, the question I would say is about customer acquisition and distribution. How do we actually get users into the network? And the second question related to that. Let me, ask, let me ask your question first. Uh, so we are a location-based service. So, so the marketing people, uh, what you should, the, the point that you should take away is the service becomes uh, useful a neighborhood at a time. So we don't need millions and millions of users. So we started marketing in Yelltown, and we have hundreds of users in Yelltown, and bam, it's useful to those people in that neighborhood. So we'll just, you know, go neighborhood to neighborhood to neighborhood to neighborhood, city to city to city to city. It, it doesn't, the, the, so uh, did it re relies on network effects, but we, we can uh, clump those users together and we're much more efficient at acquiring that point. Why all these, uh, the same and the parts and the Facebook parts and whatever other platforms, if it is still, you know, we are siloed into different platforms. There's not a thing that gets into all these users that hey, you go into place, you can, whatever uh, mobile service you're using or whatever platform you're using, you can see something, we need something, so that's one point. Okay, for me about that. So, uh, you're talking about platforms and where, uh, it's, very, it's very segmented right now. For example, I use Goala all the time and I only have three other brands, but I still use it, right? So, uh, we're, we're platform agnostic. Uh, we'll, we'll pull in venues from any of these networks and we'll syndicate out to any of them. We don't care. We'll support whatever network that you, or any platform that you want to use. Okay, and I know that there are some questions yeah. over here. You know, if you have any more questions, we'll uh, probably... Catch, catch me at the back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Catch me at the I'll, back. I'll be, I'll be around yeah. there. I want to let some other people here some chance to have questions. I know that there are two or three here. Yeah, so why don't you go first? Uh, so, one of the reasons You got a lot of people into it who wouldn't normally put themselves out there. Like they could sit at the desktop and they weren't nervous. Um, but your platform is, is taking that away and you're, you're, you're again forcing people. And so for this honor, we think that. So, so all of your actions are explicit. Uh, so what, we, we rely on the check in for like implicit data to do matching. But that, that's all on you, right? So you check in when, whenever you feel comfortable, right? right. So you, you maybe you won't want to check it around places near your home, but you will around places near your office. Uh, so, so here's a little secret. Uh, if you're online dating, you, you eventually have to meet the person. <laughs> so uh, we, we think this is a good step of having, you know, bridging you to there as well. Uh, I'm going to take uh, one more question before moving on to the next speaker. Um, I don't know. 
like the 10? So we're on the order of 100s, and most of our users are in Yaletown, and you'll see us scale out to 200 What's the percentage of We do about... <laughs> Where are the hotties at? <laughs> uh, there will be features down the road, not to find that out. Uh, we, we skew more mail than email, but we're actually doing a fairly good job uh, of balancing that out. It's close. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more question. Are you going to do any events to get your, like, any, like, hey, we're... Yes, so, uh, we partnered with the Donnelly Group, so we did a party at Barna a week and a half ago, uh, and we'll go, the neighborhoods in the neighborhood, doing events every two to four weeks. Uh, we're all trying to do them, do as many as we can, and, and get, uh, People as, in as many neighborhoods like Clapton. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, what are the serious questions? So, where All of the questions were serious. Hey, so, where so, are so, where were you guys 10 years ago when I was dating? <laughs> years ago. I was, uh, I was still in university. I, think that, I don't think you have dating problems in your university. <laughs> Thank you.